Okay, this um, video, I'm going to make it really fast. Um, Mia Farrow's star witness confessed. Um, okay, so she wrote a book. The nanny, uh, Christy Ritecki wrote a book. I'm not going to hold uh, her book. Up. I'm not going to give you page numbers in my description I can put in I can give you all the footnotes you want people don't want details all the footnotes you want um, um, she's the one who testified that uh, sometimes she says 10 minutes to 20 minutes 15 minutes she was not watching Woody and Dylan and um, uh, so Woody and Dylan could have been alone um, maybe he did the molestation um, now, the judge not only uh, said that, uh, that her uh, testimony is credible, but he said that Mia's not lying. Mia's videotaping Dylan. She's not uh, making it up because Mia doesn't even know yet that if you make up a lie that you won't get caught because Mia doesn't even know yet that Christie's going to say, I wasn't watching. A day later on the phone, Christy told, Christy the nanny told Mia I wasn't watching. And uh, Mia videotaped before she even found out that she won't get caught. Why? Because she's telling the truth. She's not afraid of getting caught. Okay, that's what the judge wrote. And, um, but what about the other nanny, Monica? So, the judge did not, he, he wiped out the name of Monica. In his 33 pages, he never said that Monica even testified. So, Mia has good nanny, Christy, bad nanny, Monica. Um, uh, Monica uh, said that Woody was right, then she recanted. So, she, so now she's a proven liar. It, then she said, I recanted because I was scared that Mia would fire me, uh, but the first time I told the truth that uh, what I said was true, Woody really is right. It really is true that Christy confessed to me that uh, Mia is putting pressure uh, uh, Mia's making me say things. Well, Monica said a bunch of other things. Christy, in her book, she confessed. I did tell Monica. I did tell Monica, no, it never happened. Uh, 10, 20 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, uh, I wasn't watching Dylan. No, no, I was watching Dylan the whole time. Um, it is not true that I was not watching, that they were alone, that there could have been a molestation. She writes in her book, oh, my words came back to haunt me. Uh, oh, I just wanted to humor Monica. You admit that Monica is not lying, that you did tell Monica that? You're saying I didn't really mean it. I was, quote, trying to humor her. Did you tell Woody's lawyers? Did you testify in court? Monica is not lying. I did tell Monica. I didn't mean it. I was just trying to um, humor her. I did tell her. Did you uh, um, admit this in court? Everything else, Monica said, that really, uh, Mia, her emotional uh, state, uh, Woody said it's also dangerous, Mia's emotional state. The judge said that everything Woody said is just more evil. Uh, Woody is, is impugning the emotional stability of Miss Farrow. The nanny writes in her book, it's all true. She was suicidal. She was, uh, did, did write Woody a suicide note. Did uh, go out on the balcony to, uh, to do it and right before jumping. Uh, well, she thought about her children and didn't do it. It's all true. Mia did not take care of the children. Um, in Vanity Fair, uh, Mia's friends say, she was adopting more kids and she took care of them. Uh, how could she be depressed? How could she be in that state and be taking care of everyone? The nanny writes, I took care of everyone. The nanny writes, after two years of nonstop crying, Mia had surgery on her tear ducts. Uh, Mia was lying in bed all day. Uh, I, the nanny, was the one who took care of everyone. Well, in this book, the nanny admits everything. Uh, and she is Mia's witness. Is she Mia's star witness? Uh, who's, who's a bigger witness? Uh, Alison Stickland, who said that the head in the lap? Mia admits that that's not news. Mia admits that that's something that Woody always did and that the therapist always said he shouldn't do it. It's inappropriate. It's not sexual, but it's inappropriate. It, not news. Um, okay. Um, all right. So, Danny, uh, all right. Um, 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 uh, 
Woody testified, yes, yes, these adopted children are each other's siblings. But this house is a foster care compound. It's not a normal house. The judge said, okay, Woody is evil again. Woody is accusing, uh, uh, every time Woody talked, uh, the judge, Mr. Betty Levinson, the biased Justice Wilk, um, uh, and in a different video I explained what that is, um, uh, said, okay, so Alan is even more evil for saying foster care compound. Well, um, um, well, the bad nanny Monica, the, uh, the liar, she said that, um, that uh, the other sibling admitted to her, well, Moses, um, uh, Mia admits that she's not taking care of Moses, well, she always says, I, my house is perfect, I'm the best mother, I'm taking care of everyone. She says, oh no, what if, uh, the nanny writes, Mia said to me, what if they subpoena what Moses is telling his psychiatrist, telling his psychiatrist, my mother doesn't have time for me, she has too many kids, she doesn't have time for me. So, Mia tells the truth when she's afraid it's going to be subpoenaed. Moses plays ball with Woody. They're playing catch. He apologizes to Mia. Um, oh, I'm sorry that I was playing catch with the evil uh, Woody. Mia says, oh, oh, that is fine. Then Nanny writes, Moses can tell if something, quote, does not sit well with mom. Mia says, that's fine. It means you better not do it again. So that's what the nanny writes. So, um, um, so Moses, decades later, last year, 2014, Moses says, you better not cross me a pharaoh. All of the kids know they better, uh, uh, well, well, uh, so the nanny admits that it's all true, that Moses, uh, has to take orders from Mia. Well, uh, Mia and the nanny are so close. Uh, Mia does all her crying on the nanny's shoulder. Uh, Mia helps the nanny write this book. Of course she put the pressure on her to lie. Um, Mia is the one who gives the nanny all of the court testimony, which is sealed. You and I can't find it. Um, um, all the interviews, Mia tells the nanny everything, and now Mia is off speaking terms with the nanny. The nanny's co-writer, the nanny, the book was ghosted by Marjorie Rosen, who's a real writer, who gave an interview to Marion Mead, who wrote a biography of Woody Allen. Mia is off speaking terms with the nanny because two days before publication, Mia gave orders, because she always gives orders, um, stop the book. Um, well, this book, um, okay, um, uh, okay, I have to, uh, keep it short, um, 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 and, uh, uh oh, yeah, I, yeah, I already told you that, uh, that Woody was not lying about being suicidal, um, um, and, <coughs> excuse me, I'll, I'll add to that, <coughs> I'll add to that uh, one more thing, so it'll be the shortest video, uh, that all those adoptions, all those selfless, self-sacrificing adoptions that Mia goes on the Howard Stern show and Howard says, you're Mother Teresa, and Mia says, oh, no, 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 not Mother Teresa, no, no, not, um, and in this book, the nanny keeps writing, oh, me and Mia, every day we pray to God, every time we go to court to testify, and, and Mia is, is even on a higher level than me, uh, she's even more self sacrificing the nanny doesn't know that she uh, is contradicting herself, she and me are the closest friends, and Mia uh, comes to the nanny's uh, uh, room at 6.30 in the morning, uh, every time wakes her up to start crying on her shoulder and to start asking her to be her shrink, that according to the nanny, uh, she is everything. She is Mia shrink. She is the hero in, in the whole saga. Um, well, um, 
um, okay, so on my computer monitor, the, um, um, so the nanny also writes that all the adoptions were selfish, that she always adopted every time Mia had another crisis and less time to take care of her children, that's when she adopted another child. Every time she felt empty, the adoption to fill a void. So, in order to keep this video short, I am only telling you that um, uh, Mia never denied what Christy wrote in this book. Uh, Christy wrote um, that she is Mia's best friend and that um, um, uh, she's always on Mia's side, and, and the judge said that, that uh, Christie's testimony, this helped Mia so much. In this book, she confessed everything that, um, uh, she, uh, I better not stop the video before saying that Christy keeps saying, I feel guilty for testifying to help Mia. She keeps saying, I had to make sure I don't let Mia down. I love her. Do you love her? She, Mia's helping you write this book. Um, she keeps saying, I feel guilty. My testimony is going to make it, could make it look like Woody is guilty. And I just have no idea. I do not believe that he did them. If he, if he did, or I haven't the foggiest notion. And she repeats a few times, I feel guilty that my testimony can just make it look like he's guilty. So um, it was a whole book. I, I, I can't put the whole thing into a video. Um, uh, the, Mia's star witness is showing that all the things that Woody said on the stand were true and that the lying Monica said were true and um, uh, and when she finished the book oh oh and the way Mia cut her salary she was paying her nothing the, the nanny says that she I was doing everything uh, every page she emerges a hero that that she just did everything for that family that that family survived only because of Christy um, uh, Mia needs money because she doesn't have Woody anymore so she cuts down on things but don't cut down on Christy because you're paying her peanuts um, uh, in the book she goes through the thing that Mia will not uh, give her any money and if she says I'm gonna leave you she says well I can go back to giving you money and she never did go back to giving her money uh, so that I was gonna forget before I finished the video um uh, I don't know it, uh, uh, something else popped into my head that I that I uh, don't remember uh, okay, yeah, what, what popped in is that at the end of the whole book that she keeps claiming I love Mia and that Mia is the most self-sacrificing, even though she keeps contradicting it, keeps saying it's selfish adoptions, not self-sacrificing. And Mia's praying to God more than I am, more rosary, and more, uh, b more religion and superstition, and, and she keeps praising Mia. When she finished the book, she didn't know that Mia's going to end up saying, Christy is garbage, I'm off speaking terms with Christy. Uh, why? Was Christy writing lies? But she's your witness. If she's a liar, then her, what is her testimony worth? Well, uh, it's already uh, 13 and a half minutes.